It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a bottle of Praconia Peevers, Mr. Hard's Rocks, Russian Imperial Stout, 9.5% ABV, 55 IBUs. Now, you might notice there's no label on this beer. Um, I visited the brewery, um, he was bottling his beer. Um, the labels didn't make it, but he really wanted me to to take these beers home to review. So here I am. Um, you will probably be watching in Polish, so just take a little time. I just want to make sure that you guys know that I've not just bought a Russian Imperial Stout down the street and took the label off. I want you guys to make sure that this is a Polish beer. That is Polish writing. So there's your little bit of evidence if you like, there's the gold bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I have, if you watch my video of the Proconia Piva brewery tour, you'll know that I tasted this straight from the fermenter. And what a fantastic Russian Imperial style it was. Look at that baby. Oh my goodness me. Oh my, look at that. Look at that. A fantastic looking Russian Imperial Stout. A big, thick, two fingers of tan colored head. Jet black beer, no light coming in there whatsoever. Rocking the beer back and forth, you can see the body of the beer because the the bubbles are chasing the head up the side of the glass. Let's give it a swirl, let's swirl this beer up and show you the lacing on the glass. Look at that! Nice tight bubbles, nice carbonation. Let's get the aroma on this lovely looking beer. And, oh, it's got me salivating. Wow. Big chocolate, big coffee, big caramel. But boy, there's, there's a plummy aspect to this aroma. There's a vinous quality coming through, like a, like a, a red wine vinous quality. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. You might notice I'm red, I'm red raw today. I'm boiling hot. It's about 31 degrees out there today. The humidity is through the roof. It's, it's summertime here in the UK. Um, we've not had it this hot in years. Not in years, we're having a fantastic summer. So hence the red face. Um, it's July, uh, just wanted to get that over to you, um, it's not that I've been drinking all afternoon and, and my blood pressure is going through the roof, it's not that at all. Let's give this beer a taste, cheers. Oh my, my. Oh my, my. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a wonderful, wonderful Russian Imperial style. I want to talk about what I love about this beer most, and that's the body. So many times over the years, I've had a Russian Imperial Stout, sometimes from the UK, sometimes from America, sometimes from other parts of the world. And they've come in great bottles and they've come with netting on the bottles and they've been quite expensive and they've been thin. 
when I drink a Russian Imperial Stout, when I taste that chocolate, when I taste that coffee, and when I taste that caramel, in my mind, I break down each individual flavour and its consistency. There's no point in having three big flavours like this in a beer, chocolate, coffee and caramel, and not think about them three ingredients. Before I go on, let me explain that there's no real coffee, there's no real chocolate and there's no real caramel in the beer. But in my mind, when I think about chocolate, I think about that big, gloopy, if I was to hold a square of chocolate in my hand, it would run down my wrist and it would be thick. It would have a nice creamy consistency to it. So would caramel. And so, to a certain extent, would the coffee. Especially if it was a, a, a espresso, a cappuccino, uh, something like that. It would certainly have a big, thick, frothy, creamy consistency. So when I talk about Russian Imperial Stouts, when I get a thin one, you get the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel. But it's thin. It's watery. It's refreshing. It does not work. It does not work. Going back to this beer, this little beauty in this glass, this feels like the chocolate, this feels like the coffee, this feels like the caramel. It's wonderful. This is a wonderful beer. Great balance. Coffee, chocolate, caramel. Then over to the fruity, plummy, vinous. <sighs> Even the flies want some. It's so hot here, we're having them little fruit flies flying around the kitchen. It's so warm. So they're diving into the beer. Uh, yes, plummy, fruity, vinous. Almost a bit of pear in there. Then talk about the carbonation. There's enough carbonation in this beer to just lift that big thick body. There's enough to push, that carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, over the tongue, and it gives you a nice booming sensation of all them flavours. Because you've got taste buds all around the inside of your mouth, you want the carbonation to push the beer around onto every part of your palate, even down the back of your throat. One more sip of this beer and I want to spin it round. Look at that lacing. Look at that beer. That is top quality. 9.5% ABV, 55 IBUs, Mr. Hard's Rocks from Braconia Piva. What a fantastic brewery. These guys are going places. Um, they brew the beer, it sells out, all sold very quickly. You've only got to look at the beer to see why. I've got a few more, a few more beers from Braconia Piva and again they've got no labels so I'm having to go on the internet and, sit and to get the name and the ABV and the, and the IBUs all before I come on air um, but that doesn't matter that doesn't matter what we have is great beer great Polish beer rating As with the stout I reviewed from Proconia Piva last week, this is a wonderful, wonderful beer. Um, I cannot take anything away from this beer whatsoever. There's nothing I can say to take anything away from the beer. So why then should I not give it 10 out of 10? I will give it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. 
This is a wonderful, wonderful Russian Imperial Stout. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.